students today i'll discuss about the practical examination that you are going to appear uh, after 4 5 months in january uh, so in this video i'll explain uh, the pattern of the uh, examination that is practical examination it will be of 30 marks you know that 70 marks theory will be there and 7 30 marks practical examination will be there theory examination probably st will start from february and uh, the practical examination will be before like last year so it will be probably from it start from jan 15 so what is the structure of your physics examination that we will discuss in detail uh, in this video so uh, this 30 marks is very important a little bit of uh, work you have to do for this uh, practical examination and the viva so the structure for this year uh, you have to um perform two experiments during the exam exam will be 3 hours so your practical examination will be of 3 hours and it will be 30 marks the maximum marks is 30 so this marks is very important if you want to score a good marks in physics because out of 70 let us you uh, you scored uh, 60 or 62 uh, then your score will be 90 you will able to score more than 90 right so it will be easy so that means this marks plays a vital important role and if you your score uh, for no reason let's say in practical examination will decrease then uh, it 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 uh, makes a great impact on your percentage of marks so uh, be prepare for the exam it's it will not be difficult but of course you have to uh, remember certain points or you have to keep in mind certain points for the viva and also your record book and experiments few of the experiments i have already recorded and uploaded in this channel so you can go through that and you can watch those videos uh, if required uh, any doubt any uh, new experiment if you want and if the setup i will have means uh, 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 the setup is with me so i'll able to uh, make uh, some more videos about that so now uh, let us discuss the exam pattern so again i am saying that it's a 3 hours exam like theory uh, so here you have to perform two experiments how many experiments two experiments you have to perform during this 3 hours and one activity so two experiments the marks weightage also i'll tell it will be 7 plus 7 each experiment will ha will have weightage 7 marks so for two experiments 7 plus 7 14 marks weightage then one activity you have to do one activity during that 3 hours of examination one activity one activity you have to do and this activity will be of 3 marks then one project also you have to submit uh, you may make it in channel file or thread file you can uh, according to your instruction of your teacher uh, you can make that so one project also you have to make and the list of suggested project is given you can choose one of the suggested project and you can uh, submit during the examination so that uh, it will be evaluated so investigatory project also 3 marks now again i am saying that in practical examination two teachers will be there one your school teacher another teacher cbse will send that will be called as external right so external will evaluate mostly and check the examination paper and ask you the viva so uh, it depends how uh, you perform in the during that examination time so the marks uh, of course the external asks the your school teachers help or take the suggestions but uh, it is completely uh, it completely depends upon the external that how your marks will be in the practical examination and you of course your viva so project is 3 marks activity 3 marks two experiment 7 plus 7 so these three things you have to a three record book you have to submit 
right and these things you have to do during the exam project file only will submit you will not do during this examination activity you have to perform during the examination and two experiment you have to perform during the examination again these two experiments are also there is section a and section b so one experiment from section a and one experiment from section b so these two experiments are divided also or uh, the uh, it is specified that one experiment you have to do from section a and section b so i'll dis I'll, I'll come to that part that what are section a and section b similarly activity also two sections are there section a and section b but you can choose uh, one activity from any section it's not mandatory that you have to choose from a or b uh, a uh, means it will you can choose from either a or b so one ex one activity you have to one activity you have to uh, perform during your examination now your record book the activity record book the practical record book so activity and practical record book it will carry it will carry practical record book it will carry five marks so record book activity and your experiment that is the record book that is experiment plus your activity these two activity these two record book you will submit and along with that one project you will submit and this record book has weightage 5 marks the last one is the viva viva will be asked on activity on the experiment you have done and also on the project you have done so this will be the viva which will be asked by the external and it will carry 5 marks so in total you can see that is 14 plus 3 17 20 10 in total this is the 30 marks and this is the divisions of marks in this way the marks are divided so you can plan and prepare for your practical examination then let me come to the point section a and section b now section a section a this experiment two experiment you have to do one from section a one from section b so section a there are list of experiments and in section a there are six uh, experiments right and it is it is uh, written that you have to submit the record book that the record book you will submit minimum of eight experiment that is 4 plus 4 4 from section a 4 from section b this is the criteria that this experiment notebook record book we must have minimum eight if you can perform more than eight it's good but minimum it will it should have eight experiments in the record book which will be from four from experiment uh, section a and four from section b in section a there are total six experiments mostly from electricity uh, galvanometer resistivity resistance of galvanometer figure of merit verification of law of combination pa parallel and series combination meter bridge which i have already uploaded video to find the standard resistor or unknown resistor Uh, unknown resistance resist value of unknown resistance resistor using meter bridge then uh, determine the resistivity of 2 3 wires by uh, graph of potential difference versus current so all these are the list in the list of your experiments now activity also in section a there are six activities listed to measure the resistance impedance to measure the resistance voltage uh, some of the activities also i have uploaded in this channel to assemble the household circuit comprising three bulbs three uh, switches and fuse and power so all these activities you can do at your school lab and uh, uh, six activities are there in section a so experiment you have to submit a record book of eight experiment and activity how many minimum six this is minimum i'm saying you can write more also minimum eight and it is 3 plus 3 3 from section a Three from section B. So this is the 
specific it is already specified in uh, clearly at the beginning of the your practical syllabus right record of at least six activities three from each section a and section b to be performed by the students minimum at six activities to be uh, performed and they have to submit the record book of minimum six you can write more again i am saying right so this is the structure of your activities and experiments so in section b also mostly in light uh, find uh, finding out the focal length of convex concave mirror finding out the focal length of uh, convex mirror finding out the focal length of uh, convex lens by plotting the graph u and v or 1 by u 1 by v to find the focal length of concave lens using convex lens so these are the list of list of uh, experiments which are there in section b right and also there are list of activities in uh, in section b right seven uh, activities are there uh, to study the effect of intensity of light on an ldr to study the to identify diode and led a resistor a capacitor from the mixed collection of such uh, items then to observe the refraction lateral deviation of a beam of light incident obliquely on a glass lab so all these are the activities which is in section b so from that section b you have to write three so don't get confused that don't write all the six from section b, a or section b it's clearly mentioned that three from section a three from section b so accordingly you perform the activities and write in your notebook in your practical record book and activity record book so don't uh, write all the six from one section and nothing from section b don't do that three from section a three from similarly the experiment part also four from section a four from section b in total you have to eight you can perform more than four but minimum four from section a four from section a b don't do that like uh, six from section a two from section b don't do that so it's clearly mentioned that's why we have to perform uh, the experiments accordingly because it's clearly written four from each section that is section a and section b right so i hope that uh, this uh, practical examination is uh, now clear to you what you have to do and for viva again i am saying a uh, few years of experience i am saying that this viva the external mostly ask the question from the experiments right what suppose you are doing the experiments of a uh, focal length of a concave mirror right so the setup you are doing uh, where you will keep the object wh where you will keep the image uh, why you, you are um, uh, finding the rough, rough estimation or how will you balance uh, adjust the uh, knobs right uh, so that the parallax will be minimized so this type of uh, questions in, will be asked in the viva by the external generally so you prepare for that right so this viva will have um, mostly the experiment activity you will do and the project you have submitted right so accordingly you prepare and buy any of the book or manu manual and um, you can prepare some of the questions from the viva so that you will feel confident for the viva uh, i uh, i can also um, prepare some viva questions uh, let me see if time will permit before uh, december i'll prepare some of the viva questions uh, each for each of the experiment that what can be the probable questions viva questions uh, that can be asked right so i'll plan for that and uh, let me see so again i uh, will stop uh, conclude the video with this one that this practical marks is very important don't neglect it just maintain your record book and perform the activities experiments so that this 30 marks uh, you will able to score easily right and your theory marks it if you will score more than 60 then it will help you to score 90 plus percent uh, marks uh, easily and it, it, it's a very sub this practical marks are very i uh, means uh, it, it enhances your percentage much right so it, it is a very um, uh, uh, you can say uh, helpful for your career percentage right percentage so uh, now let us stop and we'll be discussing some other uh, concepts in the next videos so for today let us stop here bye bye